go ahead. Hi, I'm Dr. Dean Mitchell with Mitchell Medical Group. Today I want to share with you an interesting Candida Passover story. As many of you know, Passover is tomorrow, and I wanted to share a very interesting case that I think could educate a lot of my patients. I had a patient that came in a few years ago that was suffering with a lot of digestive problems. She was having bloating, constipation, uh, also joint pain and, and rashes. She told me she was very concerned that she thought she was allergic to gluten, and whether she should avoid bread. Her history also was very significant that she had taken antibiotics for many years. She also had been on the birth control pill for many years. And a lot of the things that she was telling me didn't sound like they were due to a gluten insensitivity. They sounded like it was more of a candida problem. But the most interesting part of her story was this, was that when, during the year she was having all these symptoms and sometimes she avoided gluten and she still had problems. But when Passover came, as you know, during Passover, Jewish people eat matzah. She had no problem at all. This got me thinking, what's the difference between matzah and a piece of bread? Yeast, that's the only difference. The matzah doesn't rise. So we figured out that once that this patient from eating the matzah didn't have a problem, it wasn't a gluten sensitivity, it was a yeast sensitivity. For yeast sensitivity, for gluten sensitivity, we do a very simple test, which is very accurate, where we take a Q-tip and we just swab the mouth and we send it off for genetic testing. For yeast, we do a special skin test, which will tell me immediately whether somebody's super reactive. So this is the story I wanted to share with you for Passover, and any of you that are concerned that you might be gluten allergic, think also possibly about yeast. Thank you.